Hello everyone, this is Roman. I'm going to show you today about the Nitro Vetrex one nice effect uh, we make with the formula. We make the fade effects, and I'm going to show you how you can do this. So let's go here and make a plane. Let's make this just 50 to have more subdivision uh, polygons. So let's go here and make the Dublin. Next, I go to make effects. In effects, I just create, and in the mode, I use draw. And now I'm going to use just a simple fall off like this, and I drag the save vetrex map here. In fall off, in the shape, I use sphere. Very cool. So now when I move this, actually it's drawing. Very good. Okay. So now let's make this smaller. Uh, let's go here and make a cycle here. And um, use this. Let's make this also smaller. In my effect, I use just here a spline. And I use a cycle like a path, like this. In the position, I make a frame here. And I go to 19 and I use 100, like this. So now I have this effects. I have just drawn the cycle. Very cool. And I use any spline we like here. Just I use a simple cycle to see how it looks like. Okay, let's make this just smaller, smaller maybe like this. Okay, great. So the next I want to do is I, I want to use a, a displacement. And I put the displacement here. And in displacement, I use the tag uh, extraction here and I use the vertex map. In the displacement, I use just simple color. So now you can see my effects, very good. So this I'm going to do, I want to make another one of displacement as I copy and I use something like noise. Just to give it a little more interesting look. Okay, something like this. Very good. So now the video I want to show you, uh, I want to make it a fade. You can see I draw it and after that I want to fade this drawing. So how to do this? You can do this with formula. So let's go now to the object here and change the mix to formula. Open the formula here. Okay, now nothing happened because uh, I write this here. So let's go and write A uh, plus B, so like this. So you can see, now I have the effects, uh, like I have the add. So now we have the original effects. Okay, so let's remove now this. And let's go here and write a minus 0.1. So see what happened. Okay, I need to write plus B. So I want to. So now you can see I use this just formula and I have very quick fade. You can see when it's drawing, it's also fading, but it's very fast. So this I can do is I can go here back and I write, for example, 22. So this is give us a little, okay, a 0 to 22, I mean. So now you can see it gives us a. It's drawing and after that it happened fade slower. Okay, let's go here and make this just quick. Okay, I think this is good. So you can see how it looks like. So here how you can do. Very good. And also you can put it here in parentheses. So this is your, you know, this is here is my effects I use. So as you can see, with simple money is uh, 0.062, I make the fade. You can see how easy. And I make my, my effects thanks to formula I have here. And also, this I want to tell you is, let's say, for example, uh, you want to have a drawing, very nice, like this. And after 50, you want to have the race. So how can I do this? Basically, it's very easy. You can write, for example, F bigger to 50, uh, multiply uh, by this value and put this inside the parenthesis. So this means when it's smaller, it don't give us anything. It gives us zero. Because this gives us zero and one. But if you multiply, it gives us this value. Okay, so now you can see I don't have any draw. When it's going to 50, I have my draw and the fade. But I want to keep my draw. Very easy. Go here and write all A uh, plus B, like this. So now you can see I have the draw. And after that, when it's going to 50, I have the fade. And here, for example, you can put also, uh, you want to frame the 50 to 17, for example. You can write N, F, smaller to 17. So this means this effects apply, the fade effects apply only for 50 to 17. You can see now it's stop. You can notice here, it's going to 50. When it's going to 70, it's stop here. You can see it's not have the fade. It's keep the exact same stop. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you another effect. Yes, I'll write A, B. So this we have just the add. And let's make, for example, a scene effects. 
So let's go to the area I see a sign, sign. Inside the parameters you use t. So this is the time multiplied by a. So this is what happened now. So you can see here we have a very small. Uh, I don't know if you can see we have start to draw and after that we have small race because I make a scene. So it's drawing and uh, he's racing. So if I make this um, multiply for exam by six, so now you can see these effects. So you can see it's, it's, it's drawing, it's fading, it's drawing, it's fading. So you can see how it looks like. So it's, now you can see it's drawing, it's fading, it's drawing and fading. Like this. So you can see uh, with formula you can do very nice stuff. Uh, just I want to show you this. Uh, exam. So thank you for watching this video.